It's just and one of those games where you need to it. win neutral every time to get Cap off the stage. But the hard part is winning neutral. <laughs> because yeah. Cap wants to be on platform, right? I think the best stage to go to if I was double A would be no. Because not only are you bad on top of a uh, platform against literally anybody in the game as goddess, but Cap thrives on that platform. So yeah, I would be definitely. playing away from it on this stage. And Fancy not a bad, uh, to... bad pick either. What'd you say? Fancy not a bad pick either. For... Yeah, I agree because the platform's always moving. If I was double A, I'd try to get away from it. Yeah. Also, Goddess is massive, so she's gonna get caught in the yeah. money vortex a lot more. Cap's often. only got 250 <laughs> in 20 and seconds. Double A's already almost at 100. Yeah. Yeah, I can see neutral being being hard for Goddess, because it can be hard to use Fireball, because of course it gives uh, BCM the opportunity to make money off of it, but Goddess's yeah, aerials are so fast and can be hard to, uh, like, use to whiff punish, so... $400, uh, $30, four stocks. Man, it's insane. Yeah. Cab's punish is really good on Goddess so far. Double A, not so much, he's a bit more... He's definitely scared of Cap. It feels like. You should be. I mean, this matchup is really, really hard. Like, the easy part is when you get him off stage. I would say, you know, BCM Goddess off stage is infinitely easier than like fish goddess because there's not much yeah. that you can do maybe worse comes to worse like you trade uh up b and down air but even then you're down airing them yeah goddess probably has a hard time covering bcm recovering horizontal though oh my god nice confirm he was at i didn't even realize he was at 700 dollars there when you hear yeah. that, um, before you hear that S smash, it's not. And I think just, you know, I mean, obviously I don't play a lot of BCMs, but I think just like conceptually, I, I don't think covering horizontal recovery is going to be that difficult because you can just throw out fireball. If they hit it, you hit it back. Or you can just do the thing where yeah. you neutral be it back it can and be, forth. It can be hard to put fireball in the right place. So. I can see that, yeah. Gab okay, definitely looking for like a forward throw here or an up smash. There we go. This Double is A's still really not taking a single brutal. stock. This is definitely a maybe a matchup he's not too familiar with compared to Fish. Nice tech from Cap. Holy shit. Cap really using that uh, extra momentum from the platform to boost his side beats. Very nice. Okay, that's a Down tilt takes it. I've never seen that. Okay, this, this step. Okay, I won't lie, I want to see more slap players actually use clutch walking in neutral because I shit you not, every single time I've used it, people will just throw out a move and it'll miss. I've never been you hit You know I want to, to see people use it as mid combo. Facts? It's so, like it's so base. nuts doing like, fairing someone than doing star step and fairing them again. I don't know if you saw that, but like, he threw out the down B, cap light shielded, and... Uh, double A used the push permit to grab him. Yeah. Oh, that's the game right there. It's self so and neutral. Don't see it often, but when it when it happens, you get smacked. But... Big monkey combo. <laughs> yeah, you really gotta respect BCM just running forward to you for self fair sometimes. It's no, one of those situations that's... where a lot yeah. of your options are just slower than what BCM has. Yeah. Because I'm not going to cap, like, or I'm not going to, it sounds really confusing, I'm not going to, like, act like Goddess has really bad, like, frame data, but there are just some characters in this game that you just lose against in almost, like, every situation. I feel like, yeah. I feel like absolutely, like, it'll... BCM and like maybe Ruby sometimes is just one of them cases where you have to like capitalize on their mistakes. Approaching is not what you're going to be doing most of the time. And that sucks because Goddess's options in shield or just defensively are not very good. You can nair out of shield, you can grab out of shield, and you can pray. Yeah. Oh. 
Double A doing a little bit better in neutral this time around. Really catching yeah. out some of Cap's antics. I noticed that after the, the dare in the middle of the stage, they didn't go for a follow-up because Cap definitely probably would have, you know, teched it and beat him out. Yeah. Neutral B. So now it's safety for 70 here. 510. He's got to use that money soon. That's that's tough. That's tough. I'm on stage immediately into the side B command grab. Yeah. Double okay. A's doing a smart thing of like, hitting the shield with a uh, back air because pretty sure Pong told me this, but if you hit shield at like a certain spacing with back air, the shield stun is long enough that you can run up and grab. But it's also just really good at damaging shields in general. Yeah. It also get, like pushes you back as well, so it's really hard to punish. Double Ooh, I need to almost. take out this stock. Almost there. Down tilt. Nice. That is a move that is really good with dealing with BCM RP. It's down tilt like covers the perfect angle where BCM wants to fly back to stage, so he either has to go under it or over it, and it's really hard to position yourself in like either of those. Without like undershooting ledge or going too high where it's easy to punish. Yeah, for sure. It's one of our best moves for a good reason. And I hope Definitely. they never change it because then I would probably <laughs> play. I noticed that um, Double A in none of these games has ever gone for down tilt forward smash. I feel like in a matchup like this where you're really at a disadvantage, you should probably be going for those lame things, even if it is lame. It's yeah. still, like, an easy confirm. I think the, the way Cap's playing in neutral, with, like, just staying outside of double A's range and then baiting his moves and going in makes it really hard to get that confirm of down tilt. I feel that. He's doing, he's doing a good job of just avoiding double A's confirms that he wants. <laughs> he, he went for that, uh, smash. Using the fossil there to get out the up tilt. He's got money to spare, so ain't no problem. And yeah. a stock to spare. This one don't even mean anything to him. And he didn't even die. Never mind. I take it back. That could have been an up smash there. He just didn't go for it. That would have definitely killed him, my books. Back for fair. Well, Good well, unreliable. I don't know how that works, but sometimes it just does on, like, bad DI. I feel that. Going into game three here. Looking to do, uh, to be a field sweep for this current momentum, but let's see if double A can do anything about it. So it's the night time stage now, so that's this one double A powers up, pretty sure. Hell yeah. Such a sick old skin. I feel like double A needs to start using the down B more as like a trap, because he knows that Cap is gonna start wiggling around it. He'll probably yeah. be prepared for where he's gonna come from because I feel that he's been doing the same thing every time, but not getting punished for it. Yeah, it definitely let him control that airspace a bit better than he is currently. Yeah, I guess it is hard to adapt when you're getting your ass whooped. Yeah, especially against Cap of all people. Cap has so many like BCM tricks up his sleeve that you just have no idea what to deal with unless you do your homework beforehand. BCM in general is generally like a character where I feel like if you're getting, if you're losing, you're so confused because you feel like it's just different every time. He's just throwing out moves yeah. and it's working. BCM's definitely like the the most unique character in Slip. So like, unless you know your BCM stuff, you might not know how to adapt to what the BCM's doing. Oh my god, that was a really jab bad down tilt, jab down tilt. <laughs> Sometimes it works. This is the kind of stuff that's scary to me. I wish like there's like an input shower thingy on Slap so I can just see how many inputs are being like dedicated to just moving around alone at yeah. Cap. Without down bees coming in clutch. <laughs> I'd really like to see uh double A get some more punishes when he's does eventually send Cap off stage. And Cap's done a, a really good job of just not going off stage at all until he's at like 150. 
double A. This is looking to definitely be a a cap dub if double A doesn't do something soon. He's gonna have to get some early stocks if he wants to take this back. Caps in at 250. The big 2XA, what is he doing? <laughs> Up there we go. Oh, he missed his opportunity. We're using the chair. The chair is such a strong move because I, I definitely have this problem where I always want to be stalling under the stage with air strong for no reason. It, it doesn't like give me any advantage of any sort. I just do it because I remember that I can do it. Yeah, it's fun. And that, like just getting caught by the chair is thrust like, oh my god, why did I do this kind of thing? Yeah. That would be it, right? Confirm. There you go. Yeah, that was really convincing on Caps and I feel like, um... Double A needs to definitely do his homework on the matchup. He wasn't really getting as many punishes as he needed to be, and he wasn't pushing uh, pushing advantage that uh, far, to be honest. Yeah, it's a hard enough matchup as he is, and having very little experience definitely don't help. Yeah.